Not only can ProPresenter utilize video and images, it also can control your audio. So I'm gonna to go to audio and it's gonna open up our audio bin. This is very similar to our image and video bin. So we have a master play area. We have a library that um, shows all of our media and this is a listing of all the media. We also can create new playlists and new group folders. Down here at the bottom, we can set the fade duration to fade in and fade out and we can add new media. So I'm gonna add some new media here and we're just gonna um, click all of these songs here and add them in. Now you'll notice a couple different icons. We have one icon that is a speaker and then the other ones look like our standard iTunes icons. Now the one with the speaker is a uh, sound effect and there's two different types of audio clips. There's so sound effects and tracks. And so the sound effect is a little camera sound and then we also actually have real songs. Now, you can actually play sound effects on top of tracks, but you can't play more than one track at a time. So the next thing I wanna do is create a playlist for Sunday morning. So I'm gonna um, click on our new playlist button here, and we're gonna call this Intro Songs. And then I'm going to uh, go back to my library. I'm going to control click on, or command click on all of these, and I'm gonna command drag them to Intro Songs. So now we have a library of all of these, and then I'm gonna again select all of these songs, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna do behavior, and I'm gonna set this not to loop or stop, but go to next, so it automatically plays through our playlist. And then we can um, now play this, and it would automatically play through all those songs for our intro music for a Sunday morning. <laughs> 